So who are you voting for? Whoever the Democrat is, baby. Without knowing where they stand on any issue? It seems ignorant. Would it seem ignorant if I slapped the taste out of your mouth? Oh, sweetie, oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Sometimes Grandma forgets she's been saved. <laughs> listen, Precious, listen. Ignorance is being unaware of the dangers of the kitten hill. So I just have to answer a few questions? Yep. Then the app will tell you which candidate you line up with. Oh, sweetie, I know which candidate I line up with. Whoever's Democrat. <laughs> what is your ideal candidate stance on global warming? Global warming doesn't exist. Next. How do you feel about building a wall on our border with Mexico? You mean there's not a wall between us and Mexico? No wonder they keep coming over here taking our jobs. Mm. Should local police increase surveillance and patrol in Muslim neighborhoods? Only if we don't want the terrorists to win. It's just yes or no. Put yes. But say it's because we want to make America great again. Okay. Great again. Finally, the death penalty should be... Celebrated with a parade. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. This says your perfect candidate is Trump. No, baby. I'm a Democrat. Not according to this test. It thinks he might actually be Trump. Yeah! Welcome back, folks. Yeah. This opening clip that you've seen is the epitome of the black community. Vote blue no matter who. And this is why we are in this trouble right now. Now, you know who's not doing this? The Arabs. I want to make one thing very, very, very clear. We are going to do everything in our power to make sure Kamala Harris doesn't win. Vote for, if you want Donald Trump to win, say that. I will vote for Satan if I have to. I don't care who we got to deal with for the next four years as long as you mother know that you f***ed up and you guys are going to deal with some type of repercussion for what happened for the last four, uh, last 10 months. I don't care who we vote for. I'm voting for independent uh, independent candidate, either Justine or Cornell West. I know they're not going to win, but at least we'll take progress to hopefully one day having more than two parties and two candidates where we have a system with actual options. Until then, cope. We're going to make sure I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that does not win and the Democrat Party loses the election. Yeah, the Arabs, especially in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, they ain't playing that. They ain't playing that. They're telling the Democrat Party, if you don't do what we say, we're not voting for you. All right? Black people, this is how you do it. The Steve Harveys, the Ricky Smiley's, the D.L. Hughley, who just says, we all need to unite behind the Democrat Party? No. These Arabs, they're a small population of the electorate, but they got a lot of power in Michigan. And they're going to make Michigan turn red because they're not going to vote for Democrat just because she's black. I want to translate for you all that when Kamala Harris said yesterday, I will always make sure Israel has the ability to defend itself, she meant... I will continue to supply them with weapons and money and resources. I will not support an arms embargo. That is that is what I heard. Did anybody else hear that? Okay. And let me be very clear where I am standing today after four days of the DNC waiting for a policy. Today, I am not going to vote for Kamala Harris. Right. So all you pro blackity black folks out there who says if you have a, a drop of black in you, you're black. The Arabs are not messing with you. They're not black. And they're going to show you what they mean. They My main problem with this entire argument is that you're making it seem that I want Kamala to lose and Trump to win purely out of spite when that's not really the case at all. The main point that I'm trying to get across is that I want the Kamala administration to feel threatened by the fact that she might lose the presidency seat if she continues in her current trajectory. The problem is that a lot of you aren't even open towards any criticism towards Kamala or Biden because then there's a chance that they might lose the presidency. However, I do have to say if the politicians don't have to really earn your votes, then how will anything ever change in the country you're living in? 
Yeah. They say they'd rather have Donald Trump be president than have Kathleen Kamala in. We are sending everything that could make our country, you know, fight with all these issues that we are talking about. Healthcare, education, student debt. We are sending all of this money to actually destroy life, destroy land, destroy all kinds of life, not just human life, any kind of life. So it's it to me it is the issue like I said it is the biggest issue it's a it's an active crime scene it's an active genocide you are bombing our families with our money and just just one good speech is going to win us over again I don't think so If black people have done this in the year 2000 versus Bush we wouldn't have Bush right Bush would have lost If black people had voted third party in 2008 Obama would have been acting right he would have gave you some type of reparations even in 2016 if you had voted for the third party there would be no trump you're just giving your vote away these arabs here are giving you the playbook it's funny that these guys here barely speak english they barely speak english and they already got it figured out already uh my name my name is imam abdul aziz I'm co-chair of Abandon Harris in Las Vegas, Nevada, or in, in Nevada, per se. We cannot, in good conscience, support a candidate who has enabled and supported the genocide of our people in Gaza. A candidate who ignored the majority of the American people who are calling for a ceasefire and an embargo on weapons used to kill civilian is not one we can stand behind. You're not getting my vote unless you do this. But black folks, we are so monolithic that we're going to vote blue no matter who. And we're in the same position that we're in now. And again, these Arabs, especially in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, they're a small number right now, but they're going to have a lot of power come 2028. There are 52 days till the election, literally seconds from now. As a historical sociologist, I can tell you that the greatest hit that the Ummah has ever suffered took place in the last year. That will make the president and the vice president one of the greatest enemies of this Ummah. We each have an obligation to go out to speak the truth. The politicians in 2028, they don't listen to them because they want their vote. Because they know they will go to a third party. Black people, they don't, they just going to vote because it's Democrat. My mom is voting Democrat. And this is why we're in this trouble now. This is why you're never going to get reparations. This is why they're going to still lock your ass up when they see a young guy in a hoodie. For Kamala Harris to threaten people in Detroit with Donald Trump was inappropriate and utterly ridiculous. If the Democrats lose the race to the White House, it would be because of their elitist mindset as displayed by Kamala Harris, basically saying, if you don't shut up and vote for me, I'll bring you Donald Trump. Well, Madam Vice President, we don't owe you our vote. And if you lose to Donald Trump, it is because you are disconnected from your base and voters felt that you did not represent them. This is why the Arabs come to your neighborhood, set up a liquor store, sell you pork, sell you liquor, sell you cigarettes, and then take all your money and run off. Nobody respect this community anymore because you let the women dictate your vote. You can't go to a Arab community and talk like them and try to get their votes. You cannot go to an Arab community and have a big booty rapper go out and twerk and expect them to vote for you. You can't go to an Arab community and speak Farsi and, and fake an accent and expect them to vote for you. Um, I love you back. They only do that to the black community. You can't go to an Arab community and fry some catfish and tell them to vote for you. They ain't falling for that. They don't have no 
HMCU, Historically Muslim College University. They don't have that. They don't have a Muslim sorority or fraternity. So you go around going, woo, 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 and ski, wee. They don't have that. They don't have that. So you got to come correct to them. And they're going to hold a vote or give it to somebody else. They ain't going to just vote because you say, we're black, we're people of color, vote for me, we're people of color. No, they're not falling for that. But you folks, I'm telling you guys, the year 2028, the next election cycle, there's going to be no more Trump. There's not going to be no Kamala. But those Muslims, the Arab community, especially Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, they're going to have a bigger voice than the black community. Nobody listen to y'all. It's going to be the Arabs and the Hispanics. Their voice is going to be louder than yours. Even the Haitians in Ohio are going to have some say. But you FBAs, y'all don't f***ed up. Y'all don't f***ed up. You let everybody in. If they got one ounce of black in them, you can say them black. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. Anyway, you guys hit that like button and get off my phone.